Governor for Enga say Peter Ipatas has called on the government to relax the laws cautioning professional people living and working overseas to allow them entry into the country flexibly. Sir Peter says a lot of professional Papua New Guineans choose to become citizens of other countries because of proper work environment and must not be refused entry back into the country. When we uh, passed the law in relation to uh, dual citizenship, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, we have uh, actually discriminated against these Papua New Guineans. Even though they are maybe, maybe citizens of other countries, Mr. Deputy Speaker, they still have land here. They have relatives here. They are Papua New Guineans. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Immigration, John Rosso, assured Parliament that the government is reviewing the laws that will allow Papua New Guineans in other countries to allow them to re-enter the country. Inform our good governor that yes, your concerns have been taken note of, and yes, immigration has already started work on it, and yes, we shall be bringing it to uh, cabinet and to parliament for parliament's uh, deliberation on it. Thank you very much. However, MP4 Yalibupangia Peter O'Neill raised a supplementary question arguing that no law suggested that Papua New Guineans lose their citizenship when they become citizens of other countries. So suppose you got some law law is enough, please, Deputy Prime Minister, explaining good in the country of Massawe, where and is stopping the where best right law citizens of Lumia only losing by Molly come up your citizens in the country. Thank you. Rosso responded advice. Citizenship Act that has allowed our people to forgo their citizenship, even despite being born in our country, <clears throat> has allowed them to forgo their citizenship and they have obtained citizenship in other countries. <coughs> These people ended up leaving the Papua New Guinea passports. But immigration has seen this through, our, through my office, that it is not becoming, not becoming of citizens that they should forgo, they should forgo their citizenship in this country. They have every right to be citizens of this country as dual citizens being born here. So that is why and what we're trying to rectify, getting to that uh, question of yours, what we're trying to rectify to ensure that our citizens who work overseas, Mr. Deputy Speaker, are able, are able to regain their citizenship, which should not have been lost in the first place. Freddie Moe, TV One News.